Fantastic. White Coke hats, I'm really tempted. <laughs> Hey, well, it is Friday, and I decided to take a trip out to Columbia, Pennsylvania to visit Burning Bridge Antiques. Um, as a reminder, I'm going to be having a meet and greet here in September. I'll put the details down below. Um, but I decided to just do a little shopping today. I've got Laurel in the back seat. She's starting to stir. She's up the whole way here. Um, I'm hoping that we have a good shopping experience. It's all, all up to Laurel though. Um, so we're gonna head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. So we are just going to mostly cover the first floor today because I've gotta get running to go grab the kids from school. I always love to look through this case here. These are really pretty. I wonder if those are jadeite. I don't have my, uh, my black light to check it. Dagny gave me my last one and then I haven't really gotten a new one. <laughs> Down here, I was noticing this pottery here. I think that Tiffany has uh, one by the same maker in her booth um, in Lemoyne because it's a very similar shape. That's a pretty vase right there. That is Fustoria Heirloom. How much do they have on that? Fustoria one vase, $60. I like the color. I might have to buy that for myself. <laughs> I think it'll look pretty with my other vases. Laurel's going to hold on to that for us. And then I was going to check. What was I looking at? Oh, these. <laughs> Lucite. Shells. They're $15 for the set. Those are nice coasters. Fun and vintage. So $15, and I was noticing everything's 20% off, so that's 20% off the vase and 20% off these coasters as well. These look Italian. Oh, they're Japan. I mean, to look Italian. Oh my gosh, this is wobbly. It's making me nervous. I think this is supposed to look like a spaghetti, like Italian spaghetti, because they're supposed to look like larger noodles. <laughs> Some pretty lamps down there. Okay, oh, those are pretty. What are those down there? Those look like candle tea light holders. $22 for the pair of those. Those are nice. I think I'll grab the two of those as well. Something else. Oh, this. I want to take a closer look at this. This kind of looks like one of those Viking um, pineapples. <laughs> Last pumpkin at eighteen dollars. It's got the shape of the Viking ones. I just don't know if that's Viking or not. It's only eighteen bucks, twenty percent off, and uh, fall is coming. So I think even if it's not Viking, I could probably unload that pretty easily. Somebody is sleepy. This is really pretty. Cranberry thumbprint glass jar with lid. These owls are absolutely adorable. They are Napco, $25. Hi, this booth is fun. I don't remember this one being here. Look at it. Oh my gosh, this is this is my jam. Oh, my purse is giving me directions. <laughs> These are great. Oh, I think this is actually from upstairs. I remember these uh, these shelving units because I thought they were the coolest thing. So this is the mid-century booth that was upstairs. This is similar to the china cabinet I have. Those are really neat. I was gonna say they look Italian, $150. Look at them though, those are fantastic. They're 15% off, but I just don't think there's a room, room enough for me. So I think I'm just gonna have enough time to visit Cindy's booth before I've gotta get out of here and go and get my children from school. I just got sidetracked by this thing. What in the world is this? $50. An iron and brass butterfly flight sculpture. 
gosh, it kind of reminds me of Curtis Jerry. I've always said Curtis Jer, but I was told I'm pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> but it's beautiful for 50 bucks. I don't think it would be, well, maybe we could ship that. It's kind of amazing. I think, I think I'm gonna buy that and find a place for it. This little bunny is really cute. <laughs> My purse is still giving me directions. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I need this. I wonder how heavy it is. It's not that bad. I feel like it was spray paint though. It was probably brass. Ah, 50 bucks. Okay. This is my last stop. This is Cindy's booth, and she is the manager here at Burning Bridge. She is organizing the meet and greet. Last time I was here, she had some pretty great stuff in the cases. Oh, still some great stuff in these cases. I just absolutely love this thing down here for 65 Italian MCM decanter. Man, I feel like I need that in my life, and this is really neat. We'll see if I can get a uh, a key for this and get in there to get that decanter. But other than that, my GPS is trying to give me a hint, and I think I'm gonna head up towards the checkout. All right, there it is. Made in Italy. 65. Oh, I love that. Okay. I'm gonna take it and I'll walk up front with you because I need to get out of here. Our fantastic white coke hats. I'm really tempted. <laughs> oh yeah, these are great. I saw those. Yeah, those are fantastic. Yeah. I'll be there. All right. The white coke hats are coming home with me. Okay, so here we are back at the shop, and I'm gonna do a little bit of unboxing with you guys today, um, but at first I need to show you this. We ordered more shelving. I was so excited that we ordered more shelving, and one of the boxes arrived open. I don't even know if like the stuff is near, but like the, the rails are completely twisted and bent. Um, so, so Andrew has a return filed and we're hoping that we can um, at least return the bent one. But we're going to set these shelves up in the back uh, for the listing shelves, the new listing shelves, since we're moving all of this into the back. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is set those shelves up and then I'm going to start moving the stuff into the back room um, rather than clear off the shelves, move the shelves then reload the shelves. That just seems like a lot of work. So we'll set up some shelving back there and then we will slowly trans transport all of this into the back. Um, and I think that'll give me a good chance to go through the stuff that I have because as you know, some of it has just been sitting forever, including that bagel thing. I finally found the other post for that and it's just been sitting here. Next time I'm in here doing listings, that's going to be a priority. Um, but yeah, I think that's really the best plan of action. And then I can have some time to really think about the stuff and decide, do I want to spend my time listing this? Because my time is valuable. Your time is valuable. And um, this is something that we always have to think about when we're reselling is, is this worth my time? Not only if you can make a few bucks on it, because I mean, you could probably make a few bucks on a lot of things, but is it worth your time? So I really have to start asking myself that. Is it worth my time? So that'll give me a chance to really ask that question once I start moving stuff into the back. These shelves I'm staying pretty, pretty well ahead of, as you can see. Um, they're, they're staying clear for the most part. I'm trying to keep up with uh, getting stuff listed as the videos drop. But anyway, Andrew put these shelves right here, so now I must step over. And I feel like this, this place is, is really... Um, getting more full when the whole purpose was to get to start emptying it out so <laughs> I just over there gives me like insane anxiety whereas that was the clear side now it's just the can't even walk through it side Let's see what we've got in these boxes and decide how to proceed go ahead and make a pig of yourself oh isn't that clever very clever um anyway so this vase is going to be something that I'm going to have to price we're probably going to end up having in our shop whenever that happens. My goal is 2023. Ooh, what's that hiding down there under the heads? 
Ooh. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Look at that. Wowzers. That is huge. <laughs> that is really big. Um, so this right here, I'm suspecting, is probably... I don't believe it's Murano. I think it might be Czech. If I had to guess, that would be my guess. I'm going to guess that this is Czech glass. This is something, obviously, going to have to either go in a booth or go in the shop because it's too big. It's not something we probably would want to mess with um, as far as shipping goes. Same with this. <laughs> I bought this so that I could be matchy-matchy with Dagny. I was like, hey, look, this vase is at the auction. I'm going to buy it so that we can be matchy-matchy. So she has hers listed as local, local pickup only. And I think that's probably what I'm going to have to do with mine. But hey, we could put them together and then we could have a pair. This box here looks like a good candidate for an unboxing today. So I'm going to pull off the lid one-handed. And I'm going to unload it onto the cart and we'll uh, see what we've got. Well, there is a lot of... A lot of money on the tray right now it may not seem that way but there's at least a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff so <laughs> let's break it down shall we so I'll start with this bowl right here this bowl is Murano you can see it is signed there on the bottom um, the artist I believe is Angelo Ballarin I think I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that um, but the signature is pretty clear and it does say Murano and uh, I absolutely fell in love with the colors of this. I don't think I've ever had a piece um, with this colorway, and I just thought it was really nice. Um, the technique is called posato, I believe, and uh, that's not one I'm very familiar with, but I thought that bowl was absolutely gorgeous. This right here, um, I suspect is Staffordshire. Um, I've had quite a few Staffordshire pieces in the past, like hens on nests, um, I think are the most common, and I did have a dove once. And after having the dove, I think that this is also a Staffordshire piece. Um, not 100% positive on that, but I did spend up for it because I was under the suspicion that it might <laughs> might be Staffordshire. So um, maybe if you guys have more knowledge about that, you can let me know in the comments. But the detail is just absolutely amazing. There's no marks or signatures on it at all. And there's no damage either. So I just thought that was amazing. You can see it is a, um, a duck on a basket, I would say. So that was a great piece. Um, I bought a vanity set. And you can see the different pieces here. I did notice when I was unboxing it that unfortunately, I have that one, this one. There is a chip on that, and I really hope that I didn't do that when I was unboxing it. I didn't see any pieces here on the cart, so I feel like it wasn't me. It was already like that. <laughs> this here is Chelsea Pottery, and that's not something I'm familiar with. Um, it is marked on the back, Chelsea Pottery, England. And I thought it was an interesting design. I'm not sure if he's a doctor or a surgeon, but he's definitely sporting the mask. I feel like usually it goes over your chin, though. So I'm not really sure <laughs> what's going on there. This art glass is signed. And I have no idea who it's signed by. It looks almost like Berwick or something. David something signed. Anyway. I like the design of it. It's very simple, but the applied glass is kind of neat. So this one is also signed, although I don't think I'm going to be able to capture the signature for you guys. It's very scribbly, and very small. But that one also has a pretty simple design, clear glass with this amethyst line through it. This was included in a lot of Blanco, and I wasn't positive if this was Blanco or not. It's kind of thin, so I'll have to do a little bit more research on it. Uh, but I do love the color. It's teal glass. And I think the rest of the Blanco is probably still in a box somewhere. You can see I have some random lids that eventually I will uncover the vessels that go with them. I've got a mouse here, and then this one is interesting because it has this foam on the inside so I'm not really sure what that goes to but I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. So the bulk of, of the spend here is 
in these animals. So these are Saturno, and that's not something I am familiar with, uh, but I did a little bit of research before I started bidding, and I thought that I could probably do pretty well with these. Um, so they are made of sterling silver, and they have enamel, um, enamel over the sterling silver. They are each marked. The markings are kind of not the easiest to find. I really had to look at the giraffe to find the marking. It was on the back of his leg. Um, so they are marked and they are sterling and I just thought they were really neat. I think I have a mama giraffe and a baby giraffe here. Or maybe just possibly two different size giraffes. Uh, this looks like a reindeer or an elk. Oh yeah, he's signed right there. <laughs> right by the kneecap. Um, this little baby turtle here. He's very sweet. I'm not sure if this is a cheetah, maybe. Um, and then this. I don't know if that's a big horned sheep or like an ibex or something. He's got those lines on his back. But I think this was only one lot. I purchased three lots of the sterling silver figurines. Um, so there are probably more to come. Uh, one of those lots included a bunch of cats. So I'm really excited for that one, but I have quite a few boxes left to go through, so I'm not sure when I'm going to come across them. I did make I did make sure to go um, through all the paper just because those figurines were so small and they were all wrapped individually. So I even shook the paper out to make sure that I didn't miss any. But yeah, so there was uh, quite a bit of spend here on this cart. And um, I honestly, I'm absolutely in love with this bowl, but I don't need it. So I'm going to pass it along. But that's it. So we still have time. I decided to open up another box here. I found the rest of the mousy. Um, I'm not sure if this is a hobbyist cookie jar or an actual brand. I see a lot of these mice, mouse, mouse pieces. And a lot of the times they are... Um, hobbyist but I'm not really sure he seems like he's if he is hobbyist he's really nicely done and he's very cute we have one of these um, so some of these were made by Costa Boda those ones are worth a little bit more money um, and some were made in Mexico I suspect that this one was made in Mexico but I will check it for a signature no signatures so I'm gonna assume this one was made in Mexico um, I think they sell for upwards of 40 bucks Usually they come with a stand though, and this one does not have a stand. I think it's usually a stand where there's a tea light in the back and it kind of lights up, but um, we just, I mean, maybe it's in one of the boxes, I don't know. Here we have a picture. That's really all I have to say about that. <laughs> it's pretty blue. This is the rest of that, um, oh, it's marked on the bottom. Dunhill, Italy. Huh, interesting, I didn't know that. I'm not sure if it's a humidor because it has the foam on the inside. It's quite possible um, that that is a humidor. This is just art pottery. It's marked Marcello on the bottom or Marcello. And that's a pretty nice looking piece of pottery. And then this guy. And I wasn't sure if this was a decanter. I don't see any. Um, it's not rough on the inside like it would take a stopper. But I'm not really sure. It kind of has the shape of what I would think a decanter would have. So there you go. That's everything in the second box. So I hope you guys enjoyed going through this box with me. Obviously, we have quite a few more boxes to get through. I'm going to try to get through all the boxes before the next, the next auction, which is next week. So that's quite a few boxes to go through. So don't be surprised if, as you're watching this week's videos, I'm just tacking on more and more hauls because we've got to get through it and I've got to get it listed. Uh, but I'm going to get out of here now. I'm going to head home. Andrew texted me, what's for dinner? And I just said, throw in a pizza. <laughs> I had lunch with Dagny today, so I'm not too hungry. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here and I will see all of you guys tomorrow. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. Do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you.